Here we so go. Probably. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. It is Wednesday night, August 12th, and it is time for the first episode of Barbershop Royale. We are real excited over here. We hope you are excited, too. We've got a great show lined up for you today, and actually a whole series of them going through the fall, which we'll tell you about in a minute. But there are a lot of folks on the stream and that will be watching this that probably don't know us. So before we launch into it, we wanted to introduce ourselves real quick. We are Destination Quartet. We are a quartet from the Barbershop Harmony Society up in the Northeast District in Connecticut. And uh, we're going to go around the quartet real quick here. We're not going to spend a ton of time on it because we've got lots of other quartet goodness to get to you. But uh, first, I am Steve Wolf. I am the tenor. I also handle most of the, uh, the technical stuff. And an interesting fact about me, I was once on Bill Nye, the Bill Nye, the Science Guy show when I was a kid. How about you? Who's next? That's me. So uh, I am Todd Ising, the baritone uh with with this quartet and uh, an interesting fact about me is that i played in a ska band in the boston area in one of the prime periods for ska oh kind of a long long time ago <laughs> i'm next i knew that about todd fortunately but that's brand new for a whole bunch of you so i'm really happy um i am sam and right now it doesn't really sound like it because i haven't been teaching so my voice isn't really low right now but I sing bass for Destination Quartet. And the thing about me is that one of my favorite pastimes is to go out into the woods and throw things, particularly discs, <laughs> into chain baskets. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. Nice. Right. Uh, OK, I think it's my turn. Hi, everybody. I'm Jude. I sing lead. Um, I have the prettiest hair after Todd. Todd has the prettiest hair but I have the second prettiest hair. Um, the Best fun fact about me, haircut there is. It's, it's true, man. Um, the fun fact about me is that I'm a singer, but I'm uh, always trying to learn the mandolin, and I've been actually practicing lately. You can all be proud of me for that. All it's right. really, really good. Yeah, so, hey, we should, we should actually get rolling here. So let's explain the format of what we're doing. Um, so, like I said, we're Destination Quartet, and we've been doing some videos like this for a little bit, but this is a whole new thing. This is Barbershop Royale. This is a game show. This is a reality barbershop hodgepodge mix-up show thing, and it's exciting, and we've got to tell you all about it. So this is going to be going on for a few weeks, and each week you're going to have a totally different kind of challenge that you're going to see our quartets doing. These quartets, they applied, they were selected, and they did the work. They have put in a lot of work for these things, we know, and um, they're pretty fantastic. I'm really excited for you guys all to see them. They uh, have created some pretty fantastic content for all of you to see. So what you'll find is that each week we are going to have a voting system, and we'll talk about that later, but you, the audience, will eventually choose who wins each week or who is eliminated. And that's for some of the weeks. Some of the other weeks we're going to have different kinds of challenges where the competitors may win or lose based on how they do. So we'll explain all that as we go along, but you should also know that this competition has a prize. The prize for the winning quartet is a custom arrangement by the fabulous arranger Steve Tramack up here in the Northeastern District and some learning tracks by the magnificent Drew Wheaton, tenor of Forefront, our friend. He does a pretty good King George impression, Drew Wheaton. <laughs> Um, and you know, like the best prize of all is winning. So totally there's that. <laughs> so anyway, all right, we're moving on. Todd, will you explain what's going on tonight? Yeah. So, so Jude, when you said, uh, every week, you meant every episode because they don't, quite, I totally happen, every, yeah, yeah, they don't quite, quite happen every week, but, uh, but this week's week. episode, this week's episode has, uh, your sort of typical reality show, uh, first episode thing. The quartets are each going to debut themselves on this episode with a carefully, skillfully crafted introductory video of themselves that I'm sure is full of mayhem and nonsense in, in pretty much all of the cases. And, uh, that'll be followed up by, or nope, it'll be including uh, a performance of some sort of theirs, but, uh, what they decided to do with that, how they decided to introduce themselves, and how they decided to sing their first song for you guys was entirely up to them. So roll on the dice, and here we go. And for tonight, there is voting that's going to be happening for our quartets. Not every week is going to have voting that happens. 
But when it comes time to vote, we're going to ask that you wait until the end so you've actually seen each of the groups compete. And then go to destinationquartet.com forward slash vote. And there you'll be able to cast your votes. We're collecting email addresses to make sure that we do not have people submit 10 votes or more votes per person. We're only going to accept one vote per person. And also, we're asking that you vote for three different quartets so you're spreading the love around as opposed to just voting for one quartet three times. And with that, with, with the votes, your first choice favorite, they're going to get the most points from that vote, second choice a little less, and third choice a little less. And so whoever has the most points overall is going to win for this week, and they will win immunity for the challenge that's coming up in a couple of weeks, which you will get to see in a couple of weeks. But without further ado, we've got a ton of quartets to get through. Um, uh, that said, if... If you haven't already done so, please make sure to go ahead and follow us on Facebook. And also, you can find us on YouTube. You know, hit subscribe and click that little bell and all of that, you know, happy social media stuff. So you can get all of the updates for everything going on with uh, with this show and upcoming episodes and re uh, results of voting. Because the voting will – not everybody is probably going to be able to see this live. So we are leaving this – the voting open for a week. And we will announce the results of the voting about a week from now. So yep. without any further ado, we are going to kick it off with our very first quartet, our very first competitor for the first season of Barbershop Royale. This is Doug, Steve, Tom, and of course – Rick, representing the Mid-Atlantic District of the Barbershop Harmony Society, here is Taylor Made. Made Quartet, and we are so happy to be part of this Barbershop Royale reality show. We are going to win this competition for one simple reason. One simple, he's very simple, one simple reason. We have Rick Taylor. That's me. I, I just wanted to say that it is a pleasure to be here, to be singing with these boys, and uh, thank you to to Destination Quartet. Uh, we are just so excited to be here, and uh, we we can't wait to 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 sing a little for you and to to do some fun games and and hopefully. To... What are you doing? You're not Rick Taylor. You're too tall. Oh. Much better. Yeah, much better. That's quite a hairdo you got there. I don't really know what I have to make it stop. <laughs> now you know how I feel. <laughs> like he was saying, we have Rick Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> and what more could we need? <laughs> Anything. A tenor would be good. <laughs> a tenor that could sing on pitch that would be good. That'd be helpful. What Steve was saying is true. We're very excited to be part of this great reality show. <laughs> and so start being real, will you? <laughs> no, we're very excited to, to be here and uh, to get to sing together and to celebrate uh, with you all during this uh, really weird time. of a love so new, yet there's only but one song that's truer than true. This song I sing to you. It's you in the sunrise, it's you in my cup, 
It's you all the way to town. It's your sweet hello, dear, that sets me up. And it's your gotta go, dear, that gets me down. The morning breaks through. What words could be saner or truer or plainer than it's you? It's you, it's you, me. It's you. There's the song yeah. we didn't know we needed during yeah, COVID. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Also, I got to say, I think I have to hand over my Best Quarantine Haircut Award to Rick Taylor. And I'm not sure which <laughs> Rick Taylor to give it to, but one of them probably deserves it more than me. Um, uh, great great job, Taylor Made. Thank you for, for sharing that. Uh, a quick note about uh, future episodes and something that each of the quartets were asked to focus on, which is that they were each able to select a charity uh, of their choosing. And there is an episode later on where uh, the giving to that charity by by us, our, the fans of, of these quartets, uh, is actually going to dictate some of the, uh, the competition here. So you'll hear the quartets as we go through the night introducing their charity. And they are uh, part of the part of doing this, participating in this is, is to raise money for, for all of these worthy causes. So more information on that to come. There will be a way for uh, fans of this show to to give to those charities. Uh, just just stay tuned and, and you'll get more information. In the meantime, let's roll over to uh, Region 21 of Sweet Adeline's to uh, hear introductions from Melanie, Caitlin, Taylor, and Krista. It is C'est La Vie. Hi, we're C'est La, la Vie. Vie. I'm Caitlin Klimbala. I'm Melanie Esquivius. I'm Krista Moeller. And I'm Taylor Daniels. We are so excited to participate in this reality show. We've been missing singing with our friends and singing barbershop so much. And we cannot wait to perform all of the fun activities and to get back into our shenanigans. The charity we are fundraising for is the Trevor Project, who is the leading national organization providing crisis intervention and suicide prevention services to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning youth. So don't forget to vote for me, Melanie B. I mean, oh, vote for us, uh, la vie. wait, um, vote for me, say la vie, I don't know, bye! Oh. 
rhythm's rare. Sound of syncopation fills the air. Then to everyone, the world's in rhyme. There is nothing but jazz music all the time. Everyone will sigh, hear them my, oh my, hear them loudly cry. Hi, oh jazz man, don't stop the music, you jazz man, jazz man. You know I want to hear it both day and night. And if you don't blow it hot, then I don't feel right. Now if it's right time, won't you play it in jazz, jazz time? Well, don't want it fast and don't want it slow. Hey, take your time, fast and play it sweet and low. Got the dog on, low down, jazz man, jazz me blues. Fantastic. Thank you. Say la vie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Hey, if you didn't know yet, there's this cool chat feature thing on the video. It's on the right side, maybe below it. And there are cool links going into that chat for each quartet that you'll see that has their Facebook page. It would be fantastic if you could go give them a like, give everybody a like. It's just good. Good practice. So thank you. Say la vie. Or ask any questions and make any comments. That's true. There's other uses for the chat, too. You can also say hi to people. Some people like doing that. Everybody um, say, say hi questions. to Chad. Hi, Chad. Everybody say hi to hi, Chad. Chad. But, um, yep. And uh, so thank you again, say la vie. And we should move on to our next quartet. But first, I want to make a point here. You're going to be seeing some differences between the ways that some of these quartets make their videos. You may have already seen some of those differences. We are living in strange times these days, and the way that we make music videos might change from quartet to quartet. Some of these quartets are, are really practicing social distancing. You know, maybe they even live super far apart, and so they're making their videos with the four boxes on the screen, etc. Some quartets go so far as to live all in the same apartment, and so they're all making their videos together. And you'll see ranges from in between those things. And we've been really careful about this to make sure that we recommend that everyone is staying safe and following all the right local policies that are there for social distancing and um, staying safe while they create these videos. So thank you to all the quartets for, for keeping up with those those policies and staying safe. Um, but again, as we go through, you, you will see differences from each quartet and how they do it. Uh, so it's time to introduce our next quartet. Our Next uh, group is from the Johnny Appleseed District in the Barbershop Harmony Society. They are, in fact, the 2019 district champions of the Johnny Appleseed District. This is Matthew, Brandon, Chris, and Keith, and they are the Stellar Quartet Trademark. Hey, everybody. It's Trademark Quartet. How you doing? Hey, um, <laughs> we're Barbershop Quartet, <laughs> representing the Barbershop Harmony Society. We are the 2019 Johnny Appleseed District Champions. We're super, super stoked to be part of this. My name's Keith. I sing the lead part. I live in North Carolina. I'm an Aries. Awesome. Uh, hey, everybody. My name is Brandon. Uh, live in Ohio. Favorite movie? Have to be Braveheart, probably. Uh, favorite cocktail? Old fashioned. I'm Chris. I sing bass with the quartet. And my favorite ethnic food is probably Thai right now. I'm really digging the Thai hot and really getting into some different dishes in the Thai arena. All right, my name is Matt, and I sing tenor with Trademark. I'd say my favorite movie is Talladega Nights. Yeah, I was going to do it. If you weren't going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to see my hands. <laughs> Yeah, but that's a little bit about us. Um, we're we're super stoked to be part of this. I, I mentioned that before. Like, we're really 
um, going in for the number one spot. We're gonna win, just you watch out. But we need you to do that. So I don't wanna be too cocky because I need your help. We need your help. Um, we are supporting the National Parkinson's Foundation. So it's an awesome cause, very near and dear to our hearts. And uh, we know that with you, we're gonna do great things. So um, we're gonna catch you here very, very soon, TV Land. Uh, until then, see you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, baby, Woo. listen up. Now listen up just to understand thing my body demands. So fine cuisine, so let me tell you what I mean. I mean. <laughs> I don't want French fried potatoes, red ripe tomatoes. I'm never satisfied. I want a frim fram sauce with the Austin Bay. We should pop on the side. I don't want the porn chops and bacon. That won't awaken my appetite. On the side, now fellas, we really got to eat, and a fella should eat right. So right, but we will get you ten, old man. I'm gonna feed myself right tonight. I don't want fish cakes and rye bread. You heard what I said. Oh man, that chart is fantastic! And man, they God, I miss snow. singing. <laughs> Me too. Oh my God, <laughs> miss you guys. Shoot. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna move on. But just another thing that we kind of wanted to mention here, and this is where I kind of take the lead as the sort of technical uh, assembly guy for the quartet. What we're doing here, if you haven't already figured out, figured it out, is a, a little unusual unprecedented we are basically creating a reality show except 
without a camera crew or cameramen or the ability to actually go and film any of the contestants doing anything. They, because of the nature of, you know, quarantine and COVID and all of that, all these quartets are having to do all of the footage and filming and, and stuff themselves. They're sending me all the raw footage so I, you know, I can edit things together, but they're also doing a lot of their own content creation, which you would never see on another reality show. It's a real sort of interesting mix of stuff from, from a director's perspective. I've never really produced anything quite like this before. And I'll tell you what, some of the stuff that these quartets have sent has been awesome and hilarious. And, uh, that actually would probably be a real good time to bring our next one. You will see exactly the kind of thing that I'm talking about. From the Rocky Mountain District of the Barbershop Harmony Society, this is Jazz, Dan, Valerie, and Bear. This is the quartet full of it. I hope you enjoy this. I know I did. The old songs, the old songs, the good old songs for me. Barbershop Royal!
<laughs> oh my gosh, that was just fantastic. Oh, it's so cool to see where nice we're job. getting all these quartets from. It's this competition is getting quartets from all over the world. I have a little bit of issues with my video right now. <laughs> that's that's fun. Yeah, um, we'll fix it. Uh, at some point in time, it'll come together correctly, and I won't look jaundiced. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, as far as our next quartet, it, they are actually joining us from Germany. That's how far away our groups are coming to us. So we welcome Karma, and where they are, it is currently about two thirty-one a.m. So I think they're Oops. actually here watching as well. So Hi, please guys. welcome Carl, Hi, George, Karma. Melly, and Alina. <laughs> See you. We're Karma from Germany and we're just getting ready for a contest. Hi, I'm Melody. I love to sing bass, but I don't do it. Hey Carl! It's time for a gig. What? Wait, what? what? Hey, I'm Carl and I'm definitely not singing bass. Hi! I'm Alina, and I'm not singing lead. Your donations will be going to Charge Syndrome e.V. Charge Syndrome is a genetic syndrome with a known pattern of features. I had the pleasure to work with this association for years, and they are doing a marvelous job. Ha. Hi, I'm George. I don't sing baritone, nor do I stand next to Alina. But let me tell you one thing, you better stay tuned to not miss the Germans go crazy. One, one, one minute to be one, one minute to go, one minute to say goodbye before we say hello. kill it karma you know I, I thought it was pretty good and then it went over the top with the finger guns at the end way to go uh, I, I just i just caught in in the comments an interesting thing david kelly wrote uh he tried to write das ist gut which i thought was pretty funny but as i read it again he misspelled uh he typoed ist and so it actually says das its gut uh, <laughs> you know the similarities between the two languages it's just one one keystroke away from really changing the context completely anyway uh going all the way from germany and uh and noting also that we have we have many many new quartets newly formed quartets uh in here not many but a couple uh we also have some old quartets i don't mean old age you know like 
Rick Taylor, but uh, uh, also <laughs> uh, well, quartets have been around for a few years and we have uh, competitors uh, at different levels who have done different things at different contests, including on the international stage. And next up are our dear friends from right here in the Northeastern District who have done exactly that and represented the Northeastern District at uh, International last year. Please welcome to the stage, uh, Kai, Ben, Isaac, and Chad. Hi, it's Chad. daily special. Hi, Chad. Hi, we're Daily Special, and we're so excited to be here on Barbershop Royale. I'm Ben, I sing baritone. I'm Kai, I sing bass. Isaac, I sing tenor. I'm Chad, I sing lead. So we've been a quartet for about three years here in New England, Boston area, and we were super proud to be the 2019 Northeastern District Champions. The organization that we're playing for this season um, is called A Call to Men. Uh, we as a men's quartet think a lot about who we are as men, what it means to be a men's quartet in the world. Um, and, and this particular organization educates men all over the world on healthy, respectful manhood. Embracing and promoting a healthy, respectful manhood prevents violence against women, sexual assault and harassment, bullying, and many other social ills. The first song you're going to hear from us uh, was made famous and written by by Mr. Rogers from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, who is a, he's a man that we all really, really look up to. And there's a song I arranged for us a couple years ago and it's still one of our favorites to sing. The performance that you're gonna hear is from the International Barbershop Competition in Salt Lake City last summer. Yeah, we are super excited to be here. Uh, thank you so much for letting us be a part of this and we are really excited to get going. If you're ever feeling blue, just remember I like you If you need me, I'll be there Through it all Doesn't matter if you're tall Or short or big or small It's not what makes you special Not at all. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair. But it's you I like. The way you are right now. Not the things that hide you, not your toys, they're just beside you. Beside you. But it's you I like, every part of you, your smile, your eyes, your feelings, whether
nice. <sighs> Thank you so much, Daily Special. Really. Thank you so much. Uh, just a quick reminder out there. Oh my God, look at my screen. Uh, just a quick reminder out there to everybody about voting. So at the end of tonight's, or between tonight and the end of next week, right, have a chance to go online and vote. And that's at destinationquartet.com <laughs> forward slash vote. I promise there's a human being behind that pixelation. Um, <laughs> you can also take to our the chat on Facebook to ask any <laughs> questions. Please interact as much as possible there. Be sure to visit the Quartet's websites and give them their like and make sure that you give them the support. And without anything further, we'll go on to our next quartet, welcoming from the Ontario district, the Aristocrats, featuring Dave, Bobby, Daryl, and John. Hello. We are the Aristocrats, and we are thrilled to have inherited the right to take part in Barbershop Royale. Because after all, anything involving barbershop and royalty is pretty much our cup of tea. As you can see, our families have sung together for generations. Yes, even them. And with a combination of archive footage and historical reenactments, we can easily address all of the challenges that may come our way. So, who are we? Well, first, as always, is hors d'oeuvre. Next well, is Bernays. I'm the saucy one. Then there is Cliché, who is excited to take part. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Yes, he always says that. Well, in for a p And make no mistake, I'm faux pas. So ta-ta for now, and we'll see you on the interwebs. gentlemen, we've arrived! Our summer holiday in Paris. Oh, Bernays, let me help you with your purse. Hands off! Don't get saucy with me, Bernays. <laughs> oh, cliché! Ah. Cliché, old sport. How shall we spend our holiday? Take it one day at a time. Give 110%. You know, Rome wasn't oh, built in a day. Oh, cliché, you always say that. You can't judge a book by its That's cover. enough. Oh, speaking of snuff, let's get this party started. And as always, hors d'oeuvre, you first. <laughs> Isn't life grand? I'm so lucky, lucky because I'm happy with my little lot, my lot. And I'm so happy, happy because I'm lucky. Here's all that we've got. Just what we've got. We can have our cake and eat it too. We got no reason to complain. In the court of old King Louis, in his happy-go-lucky reign. Our wardrobes are perfection, tailor-made that certain way. You should see his wig collection, it's 51 shades of gray. You may think it's strange how we arrange to create a family dynasty. But I can hardly wait till my first date with the girl my dad chose for me. You guessed it. She's my cousin, I'm dating my cousin, that's for sure. We laugh alike, we walk alike, at times we even talk alike, the future is secure, for sure. We could write a tome, a sonnet, or a poem about our life so jolly and freely. If we gave it time, we could think of a rhyme, but that's too much like hard work. Well, we give up easily. We're French. <laughs> Let the sun 
sunshine keep on scorching while we sing this happy song. We'll keep enjoying our good fortune. We're happy-go-lucky, feeling just ducky. We're asking what could go, what could possibly go wrong. Right. Yes, excellent. Thank you so much, aristocrats. We bow to you, of course, uh, as we should. Anyway, uh, thank you, aristocrats. And um, I'm just realizing that I should probably put the link to their uh, page in the chat. Uh, so everybody, we have been watching, of course, the chat, and we've been noticing a couple questions that came up. And one of those questions um, was really interesting to me. Uh, the question of who can vote, of course, because we have so many quartets competing, and some of them are the people that are watching the video right now. And uh, of course, the answer is everyone should vote and everyone has a vote for this. So if you are a member of one of the quartets that's competing, please cast your vote as well. And as a reminder, we'll have that link for you to vote, destinationquartet.com slash vote. We'll get there soon. Um, so that being said, we have another quartet for you all. Uh, it is totally different. This quartet formed more recently, perhaps, it is a quartet of four friends who I believe all live together now as of not too long ago. Uh, this is Eric, Mia, Nick, and Gabriel. This, my friends, is Hot Second from the Mid-Atlantic District. We're, we're Hot Second, and we're moving in together in the middle of a pandemic. A bong bong. Hi, I'm Nick Tabor, and I sing tenor. I'm Gabriel Spector, I sing bass. I'm Mia Baz, and I sing lead. Eric Blum, I sing baritone. And we are part of Voices of Gotham and Sirens of Gotham, the Hell's Kitchen chapter of the Mid-Atlantic District of the Barbershop Harmony Society. We literally signed a lease two days ago. We're moving in together August 1st. And we are super excited to be participating in Barbershop Royale. We're gonna be supporting the Ali Fournay Center, which supports LGBT homeless youth in New York City. They have kept their doors open all throughout pandemic and they need all the help we can give them. Looking forward to seeing you on the racetrack. Do I seem as cheerful as a schoolboy playing hooky? Do I seem to gurgle like a baby with a cookie? If I, if I do, the cause of it all is you, is you. Cause you, you make me feel so young, so young and you. Make me feel so spring has sprung yeah. And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The, the moment that you speak I wanna, I wanna go play hide and seek I wanna go and bounce the moon Just like a toy balloon Some metal picking up lots of forget me not. You make me feel so young, so young, and you make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a wonderful thing to be flung. Couple of dots 
running across a meadow. Picking up lots of forget-me-nots. You make me feel so young. And you make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a wonderful fling to be flung. <laughs> nice <laughs> nice job guys we uh we apparently uh lost todd i'm not sure exactly what happened to his internet but hopefully he'll be back he's in, a minute. in baritone land yeah he's being a baritone whatever in the meantime, nice job hot second thank you thank, thank you. you um in the meantime uh i will say what todd was supposed to say the uh so all of this as mentioned by oh he's back there he is <laughs> all of this was supposed to be um or or now I'm all thrown because there were technical issues, and that's what happens to me. Um, all of this is being brought to you by a couple of awesome sponsors. That is particularly the people providing prizes for our winning quartet. Uh, not winning tonight. This is winning the quartet that wins the entire Steve, the Barbershop Royale experience. So uh, that would be Drew Wheaton over at DrewWheaton.com. He does learning tracks. He does coaching. He's still doing coaching now. He does private vocal lessons. He does all kinds of stuff. He's and of course, you know, he's an incredible tenor for incredible quartets. Um, then also Steve Tramac, that's TramacMusic.com. Uh, he's going to be providing an arrangement for the winning quartet. Uh, anybody who knows any of his charts know that they're absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I kind of wish we weren't hosting so we could be competing for that chart too. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're going to move on to our final quartet of the evening without further ado representing the mixed barbershop harmony association this is rachel jonah robert and aaron from ontario everybody please welcome ripple effect robert ross i'm aaron smythe i'm jonah lazar i'm rachel hearn and, and we are ripple effect Dino! Acapella Barbershop Quartet. We are located in the Ontario District of the BHS. We are also MBHA members. We've been around since 2017. We wanted to participate in the Everyone in Harmony movement and bring mixed barbershops to the Ontario District. We're going to be supporting Sing Canada Harmony, which is a scholarship program for music educators to bring the joy of singing and music education specifically to youth. I think we could win this thing because we're, we're so charming. We're hilarious. Being Canadians, we're great at everything. And you need a Canadian till the end of the competition. We're very motivated. Incredibly smart and artistic. <laughs> we're fun. We're super humble. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it takes to <laughs> That's win. It. I think we are uniquely situated because half of our group is women, which is a selling point for us. Also, if you want to keep seeing this cute face, I think just we want to bring the joy of music and singing in any possible way we can, especially in these times. Really, it's not about winning. It's about just bringing the joy of singing in barbershop in whatever form and way we can.
Deep were the crashing waves that tore our weather's mast Just beautifully done. Thank you. Thank you. Ripple effect. Wow. Thank you. Uh, wow. Yeah. So I have to say that was, that was nine quartets uh, this evening, everyone. Thank you all. Um, be before we get out of here, we'll give you some final details, but uh, before we get out of here, thank you to all nine quartets and thank you to every single one of you that's watching this video right now. It means a lot for us to all have you here and, and enjoying this evening with us and sharing some fun barbershop. So thank you, everybody. And uh, Steve, you had some things to say before we let everybody go. Absolutely. And if you enjoyed watching this, uh, first of all, there's the link right down there. Make sure you go vote for your three favorite quartets, destinationquartet.com slash vote. The voting will be open for a week, so that it will close on Wednesday of next week. And the video for from this whole show will be posted and available for people to watch as well. So if you enjoyed watching it, make sure you share it, send links around, I don't know, send chain emails a la 2002, do whatever you do, get the word out. <laughs> Let's get everybody watching this show and voting for those quartets so that you can, uh, you can show them your love. Um, uh, you can find information about us and, and follow the show and all of that at our Facebook page, which if you're watching the uh, stream right now, you just click right on our name. It'll bring you right to our Facebook page, but not yet because there's a little bit more. Uh, make sure you give us a like and a follow, and it'll notify you of any videos we post. You can also follow us over or uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. In fact, we would appreciate that. If we hit that 100 subscriber mark, it gives us access to some more tools so we can make these, uh, <laughs> these products even better. Uh, and uh, we will be posting the videos there as well uh for the voting uh, uh re please remember one ballot per person uh make sure you put that email in there and don't vote for the same quartet for your first second and third favorite that'll mess with our scoring system and we'll just unfortunately have to discount those ballots because it'll screw up the math so um whichever quartet gets the most votes tonight will have immunity from elimination for the next episode. Our next episode is two weeks from tonight on August 26th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Same bat place, same bat channel. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to seeing you then. And before we go, we've got a little bit of a preview for it. Uh, stick around, watch that, so you can get a little bit of taste of what we're going to do. Thank you all so much for being here. Quartet guys, thank you all. And we will see you all real soon. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. The spoon slash fork. 
as close to the front as you can. Wait, are we allowed to use forks? What is the difference? All right, the difference between a fork and a spoon is only at the front. There's no reason that this would be illegal. Yeah, I'm gonna crush it. I'm not gonna drop my egg. And my girls better not drop their eggs or I'd be very upset. He turned him into a cabbage again. Very interesting.